Soft Plan's plan set option allows for the assembly of drawings onto predefined sheets and borders which can be controlled by you the user. Using the navigation menu to the left of the screen, plan sets can be located, right clicked on, and the add plan set option selected. Here a name can be typed in, in this case sample plan set. From the list of options below, the method will be new and the standard sheet size of architectural E will be selected. If needed, a custom size could also be input at this time. Next, check the border option and from the list of predefined title blocks that ship with SoftPlan, the 36 by 48 architectural E border can be selected. Watermarks such as preliminary or draft or sample can be added to the drawing by checking the watermark option. For this example, we'll remove the watermark option. With our default settings set, we'll now turn our attention to creating a group within the plan set. Once again, using the navigation menu, locate the sample plan set. Right click on sample plan set and select add group. For this group, we will set the name as architectural and the prefix to A. Select OK and the new group will be created under the sample plan set. Using the navigation window, scroll to the sample plan set and the architectural group. Right click on the architectural group and select add page. From the enter page name, type in main floor plan. Based upon the user definable settings, a 36 by 48 size sheet size will be used with an architectural E side border for the defaults. The border will auto populate with information regarding the project, the designer, as well as the date and scale with which the drawing is going to be printed at. From the navigation menu, the main floor plan can be dragged and dropped onto the sheet. By default, the drawing will scale to one quarter inch equals a foot. Certain attributes about the drawing can now be modified. Position the cursor over the drawing and right click, select edit. From here, settings such as the scale of the drawing, the mode with which the drawing is being viewed in, and even the label can be modified. Using the same drag and drop method, a second copy of the main floor plan can be added to the same sheet. With the drawing added, position the cursor over the second copy, right click, and select edit. From the settings tab, the drawing mode can be modified to electrical and the scale left at one quarter inch. Select OK. Using the mouse wheel, zoom in to the print. To align the drawings on the sheet, select Tools, Align to Edge, position the cursor over the Align to Allege With and click, position the cursor over the other print and click. The two drawings will now align. Select Zoom, Extent. Using the same Align to Edge, the Main Floor Plan and Main Floor Plan Electrical can be aligned. Select Tools, Align to Edge, Select the main floor plan underline and then do the same with the main floor plan electrical. Using the drag and drop method once again, a third version of the main floor plan will be dropped onto the right side of the sheet. From here, we will use the cropping tool to allow us to generate an enlarged version of the kitchen only. Select tools and crop view. Position the cursor over the floor plan and click. Now simply adjust each edge of the crop box to the view that you wish to see. Once the crop view has been adjusted, only that which is within the shaded parameters of the crop view will be seen on the printed drawing. Using the mouse wheel, zoom up to the crop view. Position your cursor over the crop view and right click. In the quick select menu, select to edit. Modify the scale from the default to one half inch equals a foot. These abilities can also be controlled. Under the building options, select to customize visibility options. In this case here, building option six can be turned off, which would remove the visibility in plan view of the plates and glasses on the shelves of the kitchen. Next, under the label tab, the name of the specific drawing can now be modified. Change this to Kitchen Layout. Select OK. As previously demonstrated, use the Align to Edge to align the drawings on the sheet. The Move tool will also allow for drawings to be manually moved into position for printing. 
The zoom extent will show the three drawings on the plan set page relative to one another in scale and visibility. Oftentimes during the design of the construction drawings, interior elevations are created in this case within the kitchen to give a better view of what the kitchen cabinets are going to look like from an elevational perspective. From the navigation menu, these interior elevations can be dragged and dropped onto the plan set page. When a view is dropped, it can either be selected to show it as a model or as an annotated elevation. Once added, the interior elevation can then be modified. Right click on the elevation, select edit. From the view options, change the scale to one half inch equals a foot. Select OK. Once again, using the drag and drop method, return to the navigation menu, select view number three, and drag it onto the print sheet. Modify the scale to one half inch equals a foot, and select OK. The same process can be done for any other interior views that need to be added to the drawing. Using any combination of the tools aligned to edge and or move commands, the various drawings that have been assembled onto the sheet can now be positioned for printing purposes. Once again, move one of the elevations into place and use the Align to Edge tool to align the other to it. Zoom Extent and Save. Once again, using the navigation menu, locate the plan set, right click on the architectural group and add a page. In this case, a page name of elevations can be added. Using the same defaults that were set up at the beginning of this lesson, a 36 by 48 size sheet will be used with an architectural east side border. Elevation views can now be dragged and dropped onto the plan set page. In this case, the front, left, right, and rear elevations. As they're dragged and dropped onto the sheet, the option will be given whether or not you wish to view it as a model or as an annotated elevation. In this case, we're selecting annotated elevation which will pull off dimensions and notes labeling the various elevations on the individual elevations automatically. Once again, as previously demonstrated, tools and move can be used to position a drawing onto the plan set page. In this case, once the front or south elevation has been set, the tools and align to edge can be used to properly place the other elevation relative to this. Using the align to edge, once again the benchmark can be set up on one elevation and a secondary elevation, in this case the rear, was then adjusted or modified positionally. And so the process can continue until all of the drawings have either been moved or aligned to one another. The third and final drawing that we're going to create in the plan set is a cover sheet that will be used to assemble three-dimensional views of the model that we have been working with. Once again, using the navigation menu, scroll to the sample plan set and right-click. From the list of selections, enter to add a new page and call this plan set page a cover sheet. The cover page doesn't require a border, so we will right-click on that page and remove the border from this sheet. Select OK. For demonstration purposes, there are three saved views that are going to be used for this cover page. The curb view, the kitchen view, and the front room view. Return to the cover sheet. These saved 3D views can be dragged and dropped onto the cover page in a similar way to earlier examples. Right click on the view and from the quick select menu select adjust. Use the Adjust tool at this point to set the size of the image on the cover sheet. Once the size has been set, the Move tool can then be used to position the three-dimensional view on the print sheet. Once again, return to the 3D views from the navigation menu, find the kitchen view, and drag and drop it onto the cover sheet. Similarly, add the front room three-dimensional view to the cover sheet by dragging and dropping. Once the two views have been added, they can then be moved and adjusted in size 
to better scale for what we desire to have on the cover sheet. Use the Move tool to fine-tune the positioning of any of the three-dimensional views that have been added. Returning to the sample plan sets, the cover sheet can be dragged and dropped to a different placement point on the tree, allowing it to be listed ahead of the architectural floor plans or elevations. And so the process could continue for creating other sheets within the plan set. Plan sets are just that simple using a drag and drop method and giving you easily accessible user customizable settings for sheet sizes, scales, and how drawings are to be viewed, a complete set of construction drawings can be set up in a relatively short period of time.